Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side. Welcome to my channel guys. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn microprocessor and uh, 8085 means multiple choice question and answer. And guys, they all are uh, sample based multiple choice question and answer. Multiple choice question and answer up achche se cover kijiye. That's well and good. But kindly, iske saath saath aap apne subject theory par focus kijiye. Because subject theory jitna achche se clear hoga, utne achche se hi aap apna multiple choice question paper attempt kar paenge. Now, let's begin. In this, your first question is, which is the microprocessor comprises? Okay, option A, register section. Option B, one or more ALU. Option C, control unit. Option D, all of these. So right answer is option D, all of these. Microprocessor comprises register section, one or more ALU. ALU stands for arithmetic logic unit and control unit also. Okay, next question. What is the store by register? Option A data, option B operands, option C memory and right answer is option A data. Okay, data is stored by the register. Next question, accumulator based microprocessor example are Intel 8085 and Motorola 6809 also. Okay, so they both are included the example of microprocessor. Next question. A set of register which contain our data, memory address and result. So here right answer is option D, all of these. Next question. There are primarily two types of register. First one is general purpose register and second one is dedicated register. So right answer is option C, A and B. Okay. Next question. Name of typical dedicated register is option A, P, C. Option B, IR. Option C, SP. Option D, all of these. And right answer here is option D, all of these. Okay. Next caption. BCD stands for option A, binary coded decimal. Option B, binary coded decoded. Option C, both A and B. Option D, none of these. Right answer is option A, binary coded decimal. Okay. BCD stands for binary coded decimal. Next caption. Which is used to store critical pieces of data during subroutines and interrupts? Right answer is option A, STX. Okay, STX is used to store critical pieces of data during subroutines and interrupts. Next question. The data is STX is called option A, pushing data. Okay, the data is the STX is called pushing data. Next question. The external system bus architecture is creating using from blank space architecture one new main. Okay, right answer is option D, one new main. The external system bus architecture is created using from one new main architecture. Okay, next question. The process 80386 divided and 80486 and the pentinum processor uses blank space widths addresses bus. Right answer here is option B, 32. The processor 80386 or 80486 and the Pentium processors uses 32 bits address bus. Okay. Next question. Which is not the control bus signal? Okay. So, reset. Reset is not the bus con is not the control bus signal and read and write they both are the Control bus signal. Okay, so right answer here is option C. Reset. Next question. P room it stands for option A. Programmable read only memory. Right answer is option A. Okay. Next question. EP room it stands for erasable programmable read only memory. Option A is right one. Next question. Each memory location has option C. Address and contents. Okay, also. So, right answer is option C, both A and B. Next question. Which is the type of microcomputer memory? So, processor memory, yes. Primary memory, yes. Secondary memory, yes. So, they all are the type of microcomputer memory. So, right answer here is option D, all of these. Okay. Next question. Secondary memory can store program store code yes compiler yes operating system yes and option d is right here all of these okay so right answer is option d okay next question secondary memory is also called auxiliary memory as well as backup store memory next question 
कस्टमाइज रूम्स आर कॉल्ड ऑप्शन ए मास्क रूम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द रैम विच इज क्रिएटेड यूजिंग बायोपोलर ट्रांजिस्टर इज कॉल्ड स्टैटिक रैम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच टाइप ऑफ रैम नीड्स रेगुलर रेफर्ड सो डायनेमिक रैम इट्स नीड्स टू रेगुलर रेफर्ड ऑप्शन ए ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which RAM is created using MOS transistors? So option A is right here. Dynamic RAM is created using MOS transistors. Next, a microprocessor retrieves instructions from main memory. Okay, option C is right here. Next question: The lower right curvy arrow shows the CPU places the address extracted from the memory location on the address bus okay so here right answer is option a address bus next question the cpu sends out a blank space signal to indicate that valid data is available on the data bus right answer here is option b right the cpu sends out a write signal to indicate that valid data is available on the data bus okay next The CPU removes the blank space signal to complete the memory write operation and here right answer is option A read the CPU removes the read signal to complete the memory write operation next question BIU stands for option A bus interface unit okay right option is option A next question EU stands for option A execution unit okay Next question which are the four categories of registers option A general purpose register option B pointer or index registers option C segment registers and option D other registers and option E all of these so they all are the types of registers so right answer here is option E all of these next question eight of the register are known as option A general purpose register eight of the register are known as general purpose register next question the four index register can be used for arithmetic operation okay ip stands for instruction pointer okay cs stands for code segment next ds stands for data segment okay next which are the segment cs is cs and this is code segment ds is data segment ss is stack segment ES is extra segment and option E is all of these and here right answer is option D ES extra segment okay are the segment ES extra segment is the segment okay next question the accumulator is 16 bit wide and is called AX okay AX is called accumulator in 16 bit wide next question how many bits the instruction pointer is wide 16 bit 16 bit bits the instruction pointer is wide next question how many type of addressing in memory so two types of addressing in memory first one logical address and second one physical address okay so right answer is option c both a and b next question the size of each segment in 8086 option a 64 kilo byte kb okay next question The blank the blank space address of a memory is a 20 bit address for the 8086 microprocessor is option A is right here physical the physical address of memory is a 20 bit address for the 8086 microprocessor okay next question the pin configuration of 8086 is available in the 40 pin okay so right answer is option A 40 pin okay Next question DIP stands for dual inline package option B next question EA stands for effective address next BP stands for base pointer next DI stands for destination index next SI stands for source index okay next ALE stands for address latch enable okay Next NMI stands for non mask able interrupt okay next question blank space is the most important segment and it contains the actual assembly language instruction to be executed by the microprocessor 
okay so here right answer is option b code segment code segment is the most important segment and it contains the actual assembly language instruction to be executed by the microprocessor next question the offset of a particular segment varies from option b is right here 4 times 0 h h to 4 times f h okay right answer is option b next question which are the factors of cache memory so right answer is all of these means it is included architecture of the microprocessor yes and properties of the programs being executed and size organization of the cache okay so they all are the factor of cache memory next question blank space is usually the first level of memory accessed by the microprocessor right answer is option a cache memory is usually the first level of memory accessed by the microprocessor next question which is the small amount of high speed memory used to work directly with the microprocessor right answer is option a cache cache is the small amount of high speed memory used to work directly with the microprocessor next question the cache usually gets its data from the main memory okay whenever the instruction or data is required by the cpu next question Microprocessor reference that are available in the cache are called option A cache hints. Okay. Next question. Microprocessor reference that are not available in the cache are called cache misses. Okay. This is very important question. Question number 55 and question number 56. They both are very important question. Okay. Next question. Which caused the microprocessor to immediately terminate its present activity? Okay. So here right answer is option A reset signal. Okay. Reset signal the causes the microprocessor to immediately terminate its present activity. Okay. Next question. Which is responsible for all the outside world communication by the microprocessor? So right answer is option A. BIU is responsible for all the outside world communication by the microprocessor. Okay. Next question. INTR, it implies the blank space signal. Okay. So here right answer is option A, interrupt request. INTR, it implies the interrupt request signal. Next question. Which of the following are two main components of the CPU? Right answer is option C. Control unit and ALU. Okay. So, the two main components of the CPU are first one control unit and second one ALU. ALU stands for arithmetic logical unit. Next question. Different components and the motherboard of a PC unit are linked together by set of parallel electrical conducting lines. What are these lines called? Option A conductors. Option B buses. Option C connectors. Option D consecutives. Okay. So, right answer here is option B, buses. Different components and the motherboard of a PC unit are linked together by a set of parallel electrical conducting lines and these lines called buses. Next caption, the language that our computer can understand and execute is called machine language. Okay, option A. Next caption. Which of the following is used as a primary storage device? So, PROM. Okay. PROM is used as a primary storage device. Next question. Which of the following memory is need refresh? DRAM. Dynamic RAM is the memory needed refreshment. Okay. Next question. The memory which is programmed at the time it's manufactured, so right answer is option A, PROM. PROM, PROM memory is programmed at the time it's manufactured. Next question. Which of the following memory medium is not used as main memory system? So right answer is option C, magnetic type. Magnetic type memory medium is not used as, as main memory system. Okay. Next Registers which are partially visible to users and used to hold conditions are known as general purpose registers. Option C. Okay. Next question. 
One of the main features that distinguishes microprocessors from microcomputer is option C. Microprocessor does not contain input output devices. Okay. Next question. The first microprocessor built by the Intel Corporation was called 4004. Option C. Next question. An integrated circuit is option D. Fabricated on a tiny silicon chip. Okay. Next question. Most important advantage of an IC is its extremely high reliability. Okay. So the most important advantages of an IC circuit is IC is its extremely high reliability. Next. Which of the following items are example of a storage device? So they all are the items for example of a storage device in this first one floppy and hard disk yes and cd rooms yes and tape of tape devices yes so right answer is option d all of the above okay next question the width of a processor's data path is measured in words which of the following are common data paths so right answer is option a 8 bits okay The width of a processor's data path is measured in bits and 8 bits are common data paths. Okay. Next question. Which is the type of memory for information that does not change on your computer? Right answer is option B. ROM. Okay. ROM is the type of memory for information that does not change on your computer. Next question. What type of memory is not directly addressable by the CPU and requires a special software are called EMS. EMS stands for Expanded Memory Specification. Okay, so right answer here is option B, Expanded. Expanded type of memory is not directly addressable by the CPU and requires a special software are called EMS. Okay, next question. Before a disk can be used to store data, it must be formatted. Option A. Next, which company is the biggest player in the microprocessor industry? So, right answer is option C, Intel. Intel company is the biggest player in the microprocessor industry. Next question. A typical personal computer used for business purposes would have a RAM. Option D, 256 kilobyte. Okay, okay, so a typical personal computer used for business purpose would have 256k of RAM. Next question. The world length of a computer is measured in bits. Okay, option D. Next. What are the three decisions making operation performed by the ALU of a computer? Right answer is option D, all of the above. So, greater than, less than or equal to. So guys, they all are the very common operations performed by the ALU in computer. Okay. Next question. What part of the computer is used for calculating and comparing? So answer is ALU. ALU part of the computer is used for calculating and comparing in the com CPU of a computer. Next question. Can you tell what passes into and out from the computer by its ports? Option A, data. Okay. Data passes into and out from the computer via its ports. It's not to be part, it's a ports. Okay. Next question. What is the responsibility of the logical unit in the CPU of a computer? Right answer is option B, to compare numbers. Okay. The responsibility of the logical unit in the CPU of a computer is to compare numbers. Next question. The secondary storage devices can only store data, but they cannot perform fetch operations. Okay. The secondary storage devices can only store data, but they cannot perform fetch operations. Next question. Which of the following memories allow simultaneous read and write operations? Option B. RAM. RAM memories allow simultaneous read and write operations. Okay. Next question. 
which of the following memory is has the shortest access time cache memory okay cache memory is has the shortest access times comparison to other memories next question a 32 bit microprocessor has the world length equal to option c 4 byte okay next question an error in computer data is called option b bug next question the silicon chips used for data processing are called option d p rom chips next question the metal disk which are permanently housed in sealed and contamination free containers are called Winchester disk. Okay, option C. Next question. A computer consists of a central processing unit. Yes. A memory. Yes. And option C, input and output unit. Also, the so right answer is option D. All of the above. Next question. The instruction for sorting the computer are housed on read-only memory chip. Option C. Next one. The ANU of a computer normally contains a number of high speed storage element called registers. Okay. Next question. The first digital computer built with IC chips were known as IBM System 360. Okay. Next question. Which of the following terms is the most closely related to main memory? So right answer is option D. Temporary. Okay. temporary terms is the most closely related to the main memory next which of the following is used for manufacturing chips so right answer is option d semiconductor is used for manufacturing chips next question to locate a data items for storage is option d fetch to locate a data items for storage is fetching the data next question A directly accessible appointment calendar is feature of a blank space resistance package. Option A. So here right answer is option B. Memory. A directly accessible appointment calendar is feature of a memory resistance package. Next question. The term gigabyte refers to one zero two four megabytes. Option C. Next question. A by N blank space devices and any devices that provides information which is sent to the CPU input. Okay, A N A Y N input devices is any devices that provides information which is sent to the CPU. Okay, next current S I M M S have either blank space or blank space connector pins. Right answer is option D, thirty and seventy-two. Current SIMMs have either thirty or seventy-two connection pins. Okay, guys. Guys, in this small video, we have covered one hundred questions from microprocessor, and they all are very important questions. So, guys, this video is for all of you. Please, you have studied well. And if you trouble in any problem, let me know in comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Wish you very, very all the best for your examination.